Another round for Attorney General Eric Holder. Your thoughts on how this all went today? I thought today we saw just more of the same, a uh, little bit of stonewalling, lots of passing the buck, and no real um, effort on the behalf of the Attorney General to take responsibility for what happened. Uh, so many uncertainties, and it seems like after all of this time, he should have the answers to these questions. And you really drove home that issue of accountability. Um, he talked about how there has to be fairness in all of this. And, you know, he called this politics and political gotcha games. But um, just because he didn't know about it, just because he didn't read those memos, you know, does that mean he shouldn't be held accountable? And that's what you were basically telling him today. Absolutely. The Department of Justice authorized this whole operation. He is the Department of the, he's the head of the Department of Justice. So whether or not he read whatever memo, memos were out there, he needed to know of this. And then more importantly, when the effort failed and it became such a disaster and, and a life was lost, an American life plus all of the Mexican, uh, the nationalists, the innocent lives that were lost, he needs to step up, he needs to understand what went on, and then he needs to take responsibility for it. And he seems reluctant to do that. In fact, I, I noticed at one point he was answering one of my colleagues' questions. He always became indignant that I'm the Attorney General of the United States. Yes. And, you know, I, yes, he is, but that doesn't mean he's not accountable to the American people. And as you said, you are accountable to my constituents, you are accountable to all Americans. That's correct. And, you know, I've been very surprised that this issue will not, these, the, the folks in my district, this is the one issue they continue to come back to me on, and their message is hold someone responsible, and it seems like Eric Holder would be the one, and if it's not, then Mr. Holder should make it clear who we should hold responsible. You know, and you also brought up the Terry family, and we have to remember, I mean, I can only imagine what they must be going through, what they think when they see hearings like this, and, and the fact that they still can't get the truth. But you talked about, and you asked Holder, how many more Border Patrol agents have to die as part of Operation Fast and Furious? And, you know, even the Attorney General himself has admitted we are going to be paying the price for Operation Fast and Furious on both sides of the border for years to come. You're absolutely right. There are still over a 1,000 guns out there, and the ramifications of this botched program are going to be felt for a very long time. And, and I know you heard Repu uh, Representative Gosar from Arizona, the impact on the state of Arizona and the impact on, uh, on Mexico and the and innocent people in Mexico have died and will continue to as a result of this. Someone needs to be held accountable. Someone needs to take responsibility for this. And when you, when you look at the big picture, and I know, you know this is about trying to get those documents that you don't have, what do you think the chances are you're ever going to get them? Well, as you heard from the chairman of Oversight, he uh, is on the verge of holding the Attorney General and Department of Justice in contempt because the, the requests that we've made for documents have been in the form of a subpoena, which is a demand by the court uh, saying that you must produce these documents. So a failure to produce those documents results in a contempt of court motion. So I think and I believe that will be the next step that the committee takes and the chairman uh, specifically will take. And you say the next step. I mean, step. Um, I was just talking with Congressman Walsh and he said, we've had our hearings. We've got to move on. How soon do you think that move will be made? I think within the next week or so is what um, I gathered from the chairman, that he's going to act quickly, uh, that we need to... Um, we need to get some answers to, to all of this, and probably many of the answers lie in the documents that they've failed to produce. But, you know, it's interesting because you heard the other side today, and you heard the Attorney General talk about this was a political issue and mm -hmm. we're saving it for election year. Had the Attorney General produced what was asked of him when this whole investigation started, we wouldn't be in an election year. This would have been resolved in 2011 and this would they couldn't make the argument that it was political, but he hasn't. He's failed to respond. He's failed to take responsibility, and, and so that's why we had the hearing today. And, and it just begs for the question, what do you have to hide? You keep sitting there, you know, saying, I didn't know, and I didn't read the memos, and, you know, nobody in my, my department is responsible, but what do they have to hide? That's, that's precisely what we want answered. And, you know, something else that came out sort of tangentially today was about Many people in the district have said to me this whole operation was because 
they're looking to find a way to justify more gun control. And the attorney general did make that uh, today. He made the argument that, well, what we need are increased laws to, uh, you know, prevent any sort of gun trafficking. And that's exactly what people, many people, I know in my district believe, that the whole purpose of this was to push for tightened and, and more increased gun regulations. And Again, that going after the Second Amendment. He said that wasn't the case, as you heard him say. But he also talked about how he agrees. Uh, he was being asked by Congressman Connolly that we do need to reinstate the assault weapons ban. He said it would have made a difference. And I, I think he played the hand of this administration on what we're looking at down the road. Well, and it's interesting to me. They they planned this whole program. They, they put those guns in the hands of those people, and now they want to penalize good Americans who abide by the law, go through their permit process and get their weapons and their guns that way. It, it just, it, it, it's flawed. It's it's flawed and they should be held accountable. Did you find yourself walking out of that committee just shaking your head? Yes. You know, it's, it's, it's so frustrating because we hear uh, the American people are so disgusted with Washington and they say it's broken. And that's part of the reason why there's no trust this is an attorney general and a president have talked about having the most transparent administration. And this kind of behavior, this kind of hide-the-ball mentality, not going to produce the documents, not going to cooperate with the investigation, that's not transparency. That flies in the face of what they told the American people, that that's how they would conduct themselves when they came into office. And, you know, I think it also says that they're going to do business the way they want, whether there's a threat of contempt of Congress or not. That doesn't seem to make a difference. Well, you know, and that's that's the arrogance of uh, that was the, I sense that arrogance today with uh, the attorney general as well as the president. This arrogance, we know what's best for you. Let us mm -hmm. take control of your lives. Let us, you know, regardless of this thing called the Constitution, we know what's best for you. And that's precisely why the American people are so angry because of the arrogance, and we sensed it today. And we sense it out of this administration. Well, Congresswoman, thanks for taking the time. I know a busy day. Um, and I, I was so glad to hear you, you mention the Terry family because we continue to have them in our thoughts. And just like them, we want the truth. And I'm sure they're wondering when and if it's ever really going to happen. I, I couldn't agree more. And that was the question they asked us that day. Find yep. out who's responsible for this. And I hope and I pray that uh, we will get the answer for them. That's the least uh, that they deserve.